Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Stephanie Lask. I am one of the lead front end developers in the design services department at InMotion Hosting. And I will be showing you how to get rid of WooCommerce. So there comes a time uh, that you install something that you might not want to use later on. And you know, chances are it's just a plugin. So the best way to do this is to go to plugins. And uh, this will take you into your installed plugin screen. So uh, something that we always uh, stress to our design customers is that when you're in this screen, you definitely want to be careful with what you decide to deactivate and delete. In this case, uh, we want to get rid of WooCommerce. Um, so uh, with that being said, uh, WooCommerce, um, it's very simple to, you know, delete and you know get rid of um, but there is one extra step that you do have to take so um, so first and foremost I want to get rid of the the plugin so I'm just going to deactivate it first and then I have this option to delete so I'm just going to go ahead and hit delete and it's going to ask me you know are you sure you want to delete WooCommerce and all its data and I'm going to hit okay and then it's just going to cycle through and it's gone but there's one extra thing that we have to um, uh, delete, and that's the pages that WooCommerce um, generates when you go through the WooCommerce wizard. So we're gonna go to pages. And um, I know for a fact that it comes with the cart, checkout, my account, and shop. Um, but you know, someone who might be new to WooCommerce may not know that. So um, uh, these particular pages used to have uh, this kind of text right next to them, letting you know that this is your cart page, this is your checkout page, this is your my account page, and this is your shop page. So the best way to remove these pages and fastest is to put a check mark next to them. So cart, checkout, my account, and shop. And in bulk actions, just click move to trash and hit apply, and they're gone and they'll, they'll be in your trash folder um, for you to maybe restore if you want to, um, but that's completely up to you. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and um, restore these. And this will uh, put you, it'll put them back into your published um, pages section. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions or need additional assistance, you can reach out to our technical support department. They're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but also if you need quick help, you can uh, search through our support center. And yeah, thank you very much.